Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. Uh, currently, I've got portions of my system that are down. I know that the uh, the indices are trading to the upside. So uh, while I get uh, everything back up and running, let's focus on this table here because this table really kind of sets the uh, uh, sets the. Uh, um, the message of the markets for the uh, day and for tomorrow. And what we're looking at here on this screen is one of my scanners. And, and this scanner here is helping us to identify potential tops in the market. And here what I've got is the four equity future contract. So you've got the ES, the Dow, the Russell, and the NASDAQ. Then below that, you've got your U.S. cash indices, the Dow, the S&P, Russell, and so forth. And then below that, I've got the sectors for the S&P 500. Now, one of the patterns, those of you that listen to the Trader's Ed show that you know that we love, is the TD9 count. Now, these bars here, because these are daily bars, today's bar hasn't completed. This is as of Friday's session. And what you'll see is you'll see a bunch of highlighted green arrow areas out here, each with the number nine on them. And those are potential TD9 count tops. The reason why they're potential is because so far the bars eight and nine didn't generate the high. And the reason that I know that, and the reason that you would know that is because if they did, my system would go ahead and put a little star there. So these ones actually are confirmed TD9 count top patterns where the high is taking place on bar number one out there. So there's the potential for those signals. Now, the potential means in the case of the S&P 500, it would need to close above, not close. It would need to trade above the high for Monday, which is labeled bar number five right here. So you can see here you can see the TD9 count. You can see this was effective as of Friday's um, uh, trades out here. But you can see we haven't taken out that high of bar number five. So the S&P has got a good ways to go in order to be able to generate that topping signal. That's different. We've got a, a, a market out here. So the Dow Jones Industrials, the Dow Jones, Dow Jones Transportation has actually made a higher high today. So the Dow itself is going to have a valid TD9 count top. Now, the cool thing about that is if we see a close above today's high tomorrow, that tells you and I about a accelerated momentum move to the upside. So stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. We'll take a look at other charts out here as well. Of course, I'll field all of your questions. Uh, but if you're off to start your Monday, have a magical, magnificent one. And we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.